Hello everyone. Welcome to Class Fly Community. I am Darshini. In this video, we'll get into introduction to Unix programming. Uh, basically, Unix programming is in one of the subject in video engineering. So, firstly, let us see what is Unix programming. Unix is an operating system which was firstly developed in the 1960s and has been under constant development ever since. So basically, Unix is an operating system. By operating system, we mean the suite of programs which make the computer work. An operating system is an interface between hardware and the user. It manages hardware and software resource. It takes the form of a set of software routines that allow users and application programs to access system resources like CPU, memory, disks, modems, etc. So it is stable, multi-user, multitasking system for servers, desktops and laptops. Basically the last point describes the feature of Unix programming which we are going to study at the end of the video. So next, let us know what is Unix uh, architecture and how it looks. So this is how the Unix architecture looks. So uh, in general, the Unix operating system is made up of three parts. Uh, they are the kernel, the shell, and the programs. So let us know the description of each part. Firstly, the hardware includes all the parts of a computer including clocks devices timers etc and next the kernel kernel is a core of operating system a collection of routines mostly used in c um, it is loaded into memory when the system is booted and communicates directly with the hardware the kernel manages system memory processes decides priorities so next is the shell shell is basically the interface between kernel and user it functions as command interpreter a uh, command interpreter is where uh, the shell uh, receives and interprets the command from user and interacts with the hardware there is only one kernel running on the system but there could be several shells in action, one for each user who is logged in. So this was the shell. And next is the application programs. Application programs are the user-defined software that works on the system software. So there are files and process which are also part of Linux uh, architecture, uh, where file is in array of bytes and it contains virtually anything. Unix considers even directories and devices as members of file system. The dominant file type is text and the behavior of system is mainly controlled by text files. So whereas process um, is the second entity, which is the name given to a file when it is executed as a program. The so process is simply a time image of an executable file. Next is the system calls. System calls are also a part of Unix architecture. Though there are thousands of commands in Unix system, they all use a handful of functions called system calls. User programs that need to access the hardware use the services of the kernel, which performs the job on user's behalf. These programs access the kernel through a set of functions called system calls. So examples for system calls are open and write. Um, open system call is used to access both file and device, whereas write system call is used to write a executable. I um, mean, it is used to write a file. So that was the description of architecture of the Unix. Next, uh, we will try to study about structure of Unix, the basic structure of Unix. So 
basically unix structure looks like this unix consists of four major components that is the kernel the shell a standard set of utilities and application programs so the description of unix structure is something like this it consists of kernel which is an important part of unix system that is it is the heart of unix system um, it contains two basic uh, you know, parts of operating system uh, they are process control and uh, resource management all other components of the system can on the kernel to perform these services for them so next is the shell shell as we studied in architecture of unix same uh, applies your interface it is an interface between kernel and uh, user it functions as command interpreter that is it receives and interprets the command from user and interacts with the hardware so basically shell has two major parts that is interpreter and shell programming interpreter is uh, uh, which reads your commands and works with the kernel to execute them whereas shell programming is a programming capability that allows you to write the shell scripts uh, where a shell script is a file that contains the shell commands that perform a useful function uh, the shell script is also known as a shell program so there are three standard shells used in unix today so they are bond shell bash c shell and the others are like tcsh con shell so the descriptions of shells are like this Bond shell is uh, developed by Steve Bond at AT and T Labs. So basically, it is named after the scientist which has been developed uh, uh, by. So uh, it is the oldest form of Unix uh, shell. And next is Bash. Uh, the full form of Bash is like Bond again shell. So it is an enhanced version of the Bash. Uh, uh, you know bash shell and then c shell it is developed in the berkeley of bill joy it commands looks like c statements that is the uh, uh, commands used in c programming uh, the same way um, uh, the commands used in c shell is also known as is also uh, look like uh, looks like uh, commands using c statements um, so next is TCSH, uh, a compatible ver version of C shell. So what we are uh, uh, trying to understand here is uh, uh, each and every shell are being evolved from uh, the previous version of shells. And so your TCSH is a compatible version of the C shell, that is the previous one. And uh, lastly, the corn shell, which is developed by David Korn and uh, it is also of AT and T labs and it is the newest and powerful shell uh, in the Unix that has been used and this was about the shells um, that has been used in Unix. The next important part of the structure of Unix is utilities. Um, a utility is a standard Unix program that provides a support for users. Three common utilities are text editors, search programs, and soft programs. Um, and the next important part of structure of Unix is applications. Applications are programs that are not a standard part of Unix. They are written by system administrators, professional programmers, or users. They provide an extended capability to the system. So this was a brief description of uh, Unix structure. Now let us uh, know about features of Unix. Uh, so there are several features of Unix that have made it popular. Uh, some of them are portable, multi-user, multitasking, networking, 
organized file system, device independence, utilities, and services. So firstly, what is portable? Uh, portable is where Unix can be installed on many hardware platforms. Um, and its widespread use can be traced to the decision to develop it using C language because C programs are easily moved from one hardware environment to another. It is relatively simple to port it to different environments. So next is multi-user. The Unix design allows multiple users to concurrently share hardware and software. Uh, multitasking, where Unix allows a user to run more than one program at a time and networking where uh, unix was developed to be an interactive multi-user multitasking system networking is also incorporated into the heart of operating system access to another system uses a standard communications protocol known as transmission control protocol or inter internet protocol that is tcp ip protocol and next is organized file system where Unix has a very organized file and directory system that allows users to organize and maintain files. Um, the next feature is device independence where Unix treats input or output devices like ordinary files. Input or output to a program can be uh, from any device or file the source or destination for file input and output is easily controlled through a Unix design feature and this is known as redirection. Next feature is utilities. Uh, Unix provides a rich library of utilities that can be used uh, to increase user productivity. Next is the services. Services where Unix also includes the support utilities for system administration and control. So this was some of the features uh, uh, of Unix programming. So uh, I hope uh, uh, you have got a basic idea of what is Unix programming uh, by watching this video. Uh, finally, thank you for watching this video.